Hi, I'm Dami from eLearning Channel Museum. How's your practice going? Are you picking up? Or do you need more time to practice? If you're gone from a piano, it's going to take some time to come back. That's normal, so don't worry about it. If you did a master, the last week stop playing in the root position, then keep practice and add this lesson. That should be fine. Now, this time, we're going to learn left hand and warts pattern. You know that one it is, right? And also, we're going to learn new chord, which is a seventh chord. That's going to make a very nice sound. So, let's start the lesson. First, I will play this song in regular tempo with the warts pattern left hand so that you know it, how this song sounds like. the warts pattern, I'm going to teach you a new one. Actually adding one more note on the chords that we have learned previous. G seventh chord. Now, seventh means you add the seventh note from the chord. So if it's a G chord, definitely G, B, D. And seven means you add another chord. So basically, seventh note, when you count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So your keyboard is a seven apart. That's what we call seven. So if we find from C to seventh in the chord, means you just go up, skip up. That's the seventh chord. Okay? And from F, the same way. Just another skip up. Of course, there is minor sevens and major seven, but don't think about it right now. That one we're gonna learn later, after we learn the major chord and minor chord. But for right now, you only need to know if it's a seventh chord, just skipping up. Warts pattern. You know what is the warts pattern, right? Warts pattern is definitely you just hold it the bottom and play it the right next two notes later. G seventh chord will be like this, right? And C again. And C F C chord part will be. 
be the same as before. We can do it, the waltz pattern. If we want to do waltz pattern, you have to have at least two beats, right? Because one, two count. But in this part, we only have one count. Then what we're going to do, we'll just play a four, three notes at the same time instead of breaking up because we don't have enough beats to play it. Now let's just start playing it. Fine hand position, G on the left hand and right hand on C. One, two, three, four. So both them moves together, but when you have eighth note, your right hand plays two notes, while your left hand plays once. So one, one, one. You have more notes on the right hand. That make you confusing. So you have to practice by line by line if you have a trouble. If you cannot do it this one, then the best way is just everything. Play it everything at a time first. And then, of course, you can add another left hand as an eighth note. So just play it everything together. And when you can play it well, then try to play as an eighth note. another practice way. For two weeks, we have learned left hand patterns, playing a root position and arts pattern and even any sevens chord. So whenever you see it in music, the sevens, that means you and sevens note. So practice root position and arts pattern until you feel comfortable. And then we're going to learn more patterns on the left hand. I hope you practice and stay cool and we'll see you next week. Thank you.